Yeah, yeah sure. And just one more last one, sure. if I can. Yep. Um, speaking organizationally about uh, Russia's war machine, we're seeing a um, larger prominence of uh, Mr. Progression and his uh, Wagner group lately. Yep. We've been seeing how they try to dominate the information space yep. and trying to, you know, um, uh, claim the, the, those little gains that they have in the Eastern Ukraine mm -hmm. uh, over the past months. So, do you think that Russia has realized that their regular army is failing and they're now they're using this private military uh, machine to sort of enhance their capabilities and at least in front of their own audiences, like to, to, to claim that we do have some guys who can do stuff at the front line? Or maybe it's just a testament to, to the fact that their army is, is a failure. What is your opinion on that? I think that uh, Gerasimov and Shoigu are looking for any capability they can possibly find. Uh, they can actually gain some ground uh, against uh, increasingly professional, skilled, and well-equipped Ukrainian forces. Uh, but of course, the Wagner Group has been rendered essentially combat ineffective. Uh, they have ground that organization into the mud of Bakhmut, in, into the urban setting of Bakhmut. Uh, they've lost together with the Russian, other Russian forces. And of course, keep in mind, this is no longer a coherent force. This is Russian regular army forces that are no longer the original units they were. They've been replaced several times. They're not coherent, cohesive, trained, equipped, etc. There's a lot of them still. There's 400,000, nearly, of, of all, overall. Uh, you have these different um, private military companies. There's maybe, depending on your county, a little seven or eight of them. Certainly, Wagner is the most prominent of those. But Wagner is being pulled out of Bakhmut right now. They're being replaced by other forces. Uh, you have the Chechens that are trying to get Kadyrov back into the fight. He's actually been hanging out in the rear areas. It's only several thousand. It's not a large force, though. Um, you have special operations forces that are no longer special because they've been used as light infantry and lost uh, the capabilities that they had. You have maritime, marine, and naval forces that are on, on the ground. Um, you have the Donetsk and Luhansk, you know, People's Republic militias, the LNR, DNR. Um, all of this, and by the way, they've been churning the commanders of this stuff about every three months as well. This, these are the reasons. They also don't have large reserves. Uh, and these are the reasons that I think when these new armor brigades that are largely equipped with Western tanks and infantry fighting vehicles uh, generate combined arms effects that they are going to bring about the collapse, the crumbling at the very least, and very likely the collapse of Russian forces, uh, in, certainly in the areas where they attack. And then the question is, can you get the entire, that front, that portion of the entire, of that front moving can you get the Russians having to react? And because they don't have large reserves, once those have been committed, you have to thin out the lines on other sides, and then that opens up opportunities. And that's why I think, I do think this is gonna happen. Uh, and, I, and I think that there's going to be considerable success. Once again, though, it depends, and there will, there's a number of factors on which it will depend in the end. And certainly, yes, these are new units, and so we'll have, you know, when the bullets begin to fly, um, we'll, we'll see the quality of the training, I believe, will show experienced leaders, of course, but again, a lot of new soldiers in these formations that have been trained in training centers, the U.S. training centers in Germany, U.K., um, Eastern Poland, etc. Uh, and I think they're going to quit themselves uh, exceedingly well uh, and that they're going to perform better than most of the cautious analysts uh, on you know, CNN and even in most intelligence services because, again, in the intelligence business, you, you learn early on uh, you can never go wrong by being a pessimist. So one last question back there. Thank you.